Welcome to our very first horror story. This story is entitled, Brian's Descent into Darkness. Once upon a time, in a remote coastal town, there lived a man named Brian and his close friend, Mylan. Oh, hey, I'm in this one. Me. Both of them shared a deep passion for the sea. They had spent their lives sailing the vast waters, exploring uncharted territories, and indulging in the thrill of adventure. Brian and Mylan, renowned sailors, entertained the townsfolk with their tales of daring escapades, earning the admiration of many. And it was this big! <laughs> no match for the two of us! One fateful day, however, Brian and Mylan set sail on their most ambitious expedition yet, eager to uncover the secrets hidden within the depths of the ocean. As they ventured farther from the safety of the shore, an unsettling aura hung in the air, as if the sea itself held a foreboding secret. I don't like the looks of this, boys. Keep your wits about you. As night fell, a storm brewed, engulfing the sky with dark, menacing clouds. The sea, once tranquil and inviting, transformed into a ferocious beast. Waves crashed against the sides of their ship, tossing it mercilessly. The wind howled with an otherworldly intensity, as if the warning was telling them to turn back. We can't turn back now. We've gone too far. Keep going. In the midst of the tempest, a colossal sea monster emerged from the depth. Its scaly body towered over Brian and Mylan's ship, its eyes gleaming with a hunger for destruction. With terrifying force, the creature lashed out, slamming its massive tentacles onto the vessel. The ship buckled under the onslaught, its structural integrity compromised. Not looking good. Get that water out of here. Brian and Mylan, filled with both awe and dread, fought valiantly to maintain control of the sinking ship. But the sea monster, relentless in its pursuit, wrapped its slimy appendages around Brian's legs, intent on dragging him into the watery abyss. Panic gripped their hearts as they struggled against the monster's iron grip, the weight of impending doom threatening to consume them. Not like this. Not like this! Desperate and running out of options, Brian mustered every ounce of strength and resourcefulness within him. With a surge of adrenaline, he reached out for a nearby harpoon and thrust it into the creature's flesh. A wail of agony reverberated through the stormy night, causing the sea monster to release its grip, but only momentarily. My man. My ship. No. <sighs> Seizing the fleeting opportunity, Brian fought his way to the surface, gasping for air as he escaped the clutches of the sea monster. But the ship, battered and sinking, provided little solace. Brian found himself stranded in the vast expanse of the ocean, clinging to a piece of debris, his fate hanging by a thread. No, no. Mylan? Mylan, where are you? In the chaos that ensued, the sea monster turned its attention towards Mylan, who found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. Before he could react, the monstrous creature lunged at Mylan with ferocious speed, its razor-sharp jaws closing around him. In an instant, Mylan's life was extinguished. His body turned asunder by the merciless predator. <gasps> <laughs> Paralyzed with shock and grief, Brian witnessed the horrifying demise of his dear friend. The sight of Mylan's lifeless form sinking into the churning waters 
served as a haunting reminder of the merciless forces that govern the treacherous seas. The loss of Mylan left Brian with an indelible scar, fueling his determination to survive and seek vengeance against the monstrous creature that had robbed him of his companion. Oh, I'm fine. For the both of us. With each passing moment, Brian's hope dwindled and exhaustion overcame him. The sea, seemingly unforgiving, threatened to claim his life. In his weakened state, he saw glimpses of the sea monster circling him, a reminder of the imminent danger that still lurked. Sorry, bud. Looks like neither of us are making it out of this one. As the last remnants of his strength failed, Brian succumbed to the ocean's embrace. His body entwined in the depths, he became a permanent resident of the watery graveyard. <coughs> Brian's harrowing tale serves as a chilling reminder of the perils that lie beneath the surface, where ancient creatures dwell and uncharted dangers await the foolhardy. May his story be etched in the annals of seafaring legends, a cautionary tale to those who dare to tempt the wrath of the sea and the monsters they call home. The end. I'm dead. <laughs>